The best makeup you've had all along. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca, and today I am going to do a, I don't know, it could be considered like a shop my stash, or maybe a, you know, a low buy, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I'm sure I'll come up with the hashtags, but I figured that we are sitting on, in our makeup drawers currently, so much good stuff that we either forget about, or just really goes under the radar so so under the radar like below below ground is that where radar I don't know ground penetrating radar <laughs> not just air traffic control radar we're talking it goes so far down. oh my gosh anyway yeah I I love I love these items I use them all the time I probably have raved about them at some point in a review maybe four years ago uh, or maybe even just last year but you know these are just these are really really good and we need to remember that because we get really sucked into all the fun new stuff out there which which is phenomenal because you know I I truly believe technology and formulations are improving. Um, but there are some favorites of mine that I just cannot, yeah, I just can't not live without. So I'm gonna start with primer, okay? And I have I two. Rimmel doesn't get enough love in the beauty YouTube community. Rimmel is sort of an OG drugstore product, you know, um, it's from the UK, or at least I think it was marketed to us in America is from the UK. I believe Cody, does Cody own it? But then doesn't CoverGirl and Cody, uh, uh, Rimmel is cruelty free. It's affordable, phenomenal, phenomenal formulations. I think one or two foundations, I, I wish I could just jump all in, but I think there's like fragrance talk about their Insta CC primer. I have shade Peach. It's a color corrector. This is, um, well, you know, uh, let's, let's take a look. It's a very soft, luminous product. Is there a fragrance? A little bit. Yeah, the look at that. It says it's a peach color corrector. I mean, maybe a little bit. Mostly, I think the formula is soft, silky, pore filling. I'm going to put some right here. Yeah, definitely fragranced. I know, I know. You guys know I love me my e.l.f. putty primer. Um, my liquid putty primer is not fragranced. We're just going to have to... Maybe, maybe Rimmel makes one without fragrance and I just haven't found it yet. Um, okay, and then Wet n Wild has their Glass Correct Primer. And I remember when this came out a couple years ago, glass skin was, you know, the height of skin trend. I don't smell anything. <laughs> this one, I find it to be very luminous. It does have a green tint and um, it's very cooling. You could look at it as almost a Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other ones out there that kind of are marketed like this, but it's tremendous. It really is tremendous in terms of how the finish looks, how it looks on the skin. It's beautiful. Look at that glow. Look so at it. We have more of a satin kind of putty, you know, maybe blurred. And then here we have the very, very much a, a hydrated, shiny glass donut, <laughs> glossy donut situation. <laughs> okay, so this foundation, this is the L'Oreal True Match. It has been around for 15, 20 years. I'm not exactly sure, but folks, they gave it a pump. They've reformulated it, which I think it has been for the better. 
it is such a good foundation. It really is a good foundation. I feel like I rediscovered it. Well, everybody rediscovered it because the pump. <laughs> I mean, I don't get any credit because, um, yeah, it's like, okay, uh, we all, we all kind of went, oh my gosh, that's right. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm going to apply it with my palms. So I'm going to make a separate video about this, but you guys, this has been something I've been doing and I started doing it with the CoverGirl instant, no, the CoverGirl, uh, essence. <laughs> um, and I think because my, because we've had our temperature in the teens, our weather has been so cold and we are not equipped. We are not equipped in Seattle for that kind of weather. Uh, my house is freezing. Uh, our, I have, all my products are like cold to the touch. So I have been applying it with the warmth of my hands. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put some, and I actually, I tested this with different formulations and high end, like I'm kind of doing this experiment because I'm like, this can't be, this can't work this many times. It's too easy. I've got to, uh, I've got to find, you know, it's not infallible. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we've got about a pump, maybe a little more in the palm of my hand. I am going to just gently, I kind of make it look like I'm really rubbing it. I'm not, I'm just going to warm that up, get that in there. I know. I know, right? Now, this, look at that. That's a lot. That's a lot. I've been doing it with the essence, the tint, and I think I realized that, oh wait, this is actual foundation, um, <laughs> like with coverage, but it's, it's so incredibly, I feel like I'm cheating. Like, what? You know, I love my BK Beauty brush, my 101 foundation brush. This can't possibly this can't possibly, you know, but the, the best, you know, how Katie Jane Hughes, she puts her, is it Katie Jane Hughes or is it Jamie Genevieve? They put their cream blush with the heels of their, their palms, you know, and I, <laughs> I've been putting my right here, my concealer, my concealer with the, this palm part. I know, I know, it can't, it can't. But I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see, right? <sighs> okay, so you can see, I mean, honestly, the finish of the, the, the primers kind of just is the same uh, in terms of the difference, but yeah. So, I don't know, I don't know, folks. I don't know if, Am I dreaming? What, 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 what is happening? What, what is happening? So, let's talk concealer, Neutrogena concealer. This has been compared to a lot of high-end concealers. Actually, I probably reach more for like a cover girl. Um, maybe I'm trying to think of the other one I love, like a Joa. No, I love, I love uh, Flower Beauty, but Flower Beauty, the, the serum concealer, the serum concealer came out recently. So I feel like let's give ode to this one that has been out for quite some time. And I know a lot of influencers love it. I think if you are, uh, one who I find it to not have as much coverage, what Maybe. people love about it is that it is creamy and it has such a nice, it fit it the, the finish and the way it blends out and I think people compare this to the NARS concealer which you know I have owned in my lifetime um, but I've probably not repurchased because I've always found something that I just love more like <laughs> I know right so and here you can see I am using my fingers um, and I'm going to just put a little bit over here to just kind of blend out my eyelid area. So I am going to powder just a little bit. And this, you know, I think there are makeup artists that would say, don't use pressed powder as a setting powder. You want to keep that in a loose powder format. 
totally understand some of some people doing a video like this might use the Cody loose powder um, you know in the 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 all-time um, and it smells like Noxzema. When they make a fragrance-free formula of that, if they do, I am buying it. I am all about that. Because that powder is phenomenal, but it stinks. I can't use it. I think this is kind of old school. And I really like it. And it's the CoverGirl CG Smoothers. I actually, I like all their pressed powder. I'm not going to lie. I like all their pressed powder. Um... I think there was one that had a fragrance and now I think they reformulated it and took out the fragrance. Um, I might be mistaken, but their, I, I think all their powders are so good. So this one, I find, <laughs> I love a puff, love a puff. I'm going to set that aside though, because I always uh, use them separately. So taking a Real Techniques powder brush. This formula, it's so smooth and velvety. It's sheer. It has almost a, a hint of radiance, but not like, oh, I mean, I daren't say that because I don't want people to think, oh no, I'm adding shine. But you know what? You're not. You're not. Yeah, so, because you can see I'm not shiny, you know, it has, it has powdered, but it's, it's just such a beautiful formula and it is so cheap. It's so cheap. Okay. Wet n Wild color icon. These, these, these guys. Sometimes they're, the color scheme changes. Sometimes this one's called Camo Flaunt. And I think walking on eggshells is such a iconic, uh, compact. This one came out with the Wet n Wild collection and if they need to, they need to keep this around. They need to either put it in a mainstay of their, I mean, unless, is this walking on eggshells or is this close enough? I don't know, but it's just such a good neutral, like it's got everything. <laughs> so if you haven't found the Marilyn eyeshadow yet, or if you haven't bought the Marilyn eyeshadow yet, if you see it, I would pick it up because I think it is just such a good staple. So um, I don't always, I don't use all the colors in these each eye look, I do. Typically what I do is I get a medium fluffy brush and I put it in like a tone, you know, like this shade right here which I always call it like a, I mean, it kind of looks like tea. I'm literally drinking tea with milk in it and it looks like that color. <laughs> and I just love to, if I'm not applying it on the entire lid, I'm applying it just like halfway up, almost, almost to the brow bone. For me, I love a shimmer and we've got my fingers going on again. <laughs> And maybe just a smidge of that dark shade, making sure it's not too dark. Get that underneath. There we go, right? Right? Now it looks a little, I need to, once I put mascara, it'll, it'll balance, but that's instead of pencil for me. Speaking of mascara, you guys, the Maybelline, Lash Sensational. So many of you have your favorite Maybelline. It's kind of funny because some of you are very passionate about your mascara. You'll be like, oh, no, I have done the Maybelline stiletto for 10 years and I love it or whatever, you know. And I, I love that you have one that you love. That's great. I am not here to try to convince you, you know, to ditch your mascara, your beloved mascara. If you have a formula you love, by all means, go for it. But this is probably one of my top five all-time favorite mascaras. It is just so good. It's so good. And it's actually one of my favorite formulas to mix with other formulas. I do bronzer. Right? Right? 
um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Do you guys remember, this is um, Bikini Contest, do you remember the Cabana, oh, there was one that I'm like, ugh, they got rid of. They got rid of it and I'm so sad. This is the brush from their Maryland collection. This picks up so much product, I don't know. It's so soft, but it actually might be too, hang on. Okay. The thing about this blush, I'm sorry, bronzer. The thing about this bronzer is it's very subtle. Like look, do you see, do you see this? It is not a lot. It's not, it doesn't go on heavy. It's beautiful. It might look more in natural light. Yeah, no, that is very subtle. Brows. Oh man, this is, uh, this is going way back. The Milani Stay Put Brow in Blonde. This is such a good ash brown, ash, ashy blonde shade. No, I'm sorry. In the shade Taupe. I had to read it. So it's their brow sculpting mechanical pencil and it their taupe is just this perfect 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 neutral shade. I have loved this for so long and I don't always find it and I think I kind of cherish the one I have because I'm just afraid of things getting discontinued. But this formula is very smooth, very, it, it does have a, a lot of pigment, so you just need a light hand. Sometimes brow pencils, brow products can be more stiff and not give as much, and you know, not really throw on the the pigmentation and on purpose whereas this one it's very very uh really deposits a lot so you just gotta but it's also got a broad edge oh my gosh you guys lips lips <sighs> so nyx makes this mauve pencil it is a staple among artists, uh, it's in people's kits. People rave about this. It is so good. Okay, it is. It truly, truly is. I'm just gonna kinda, yeah, it's great. It's a great, this this shade in the mauve, no, is this mauve or is this? Oh, this is peekaboo neutral. I don't know why I thought, I thought the mauve, huh, huh, oh, whatever. Now, they're and it's super affordable. They're mechanical, I call it a mechanical pencil, but they're automatic lip liner and this is in the shade natural. So, so good. I like that this formula does not dry out. Lipstick, Lipstick you guys, Maybelline. Oh my goodness. The Maybelline lipsticks that come in these tubes are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Depending where you buy them, I've seen them $6. I think sometimes Amazon will have some shades that are like five or six dollars. One of my favorite is Naked Dare. And this is just such a foolproof nude formula shade, I should say. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, so good. Before there was Charlotte Tilbury, before there was Kylie, like this, this. <laughs> Another one I really like, I'm gonna blot this so that I can just apply over the top of that is this one called Almond Hustle. I love Almond Hustle. It's a little more, a little more mauve. Not much. Well, actually, hang on. Naked Dare, Almond Hustle. Such a funny name. Who came up with Almond Hustle? Anyway, yeah, Maybelline, man. 
I feel like this is kind of an I told you so product. I have raved about this and I saw a viral TikTok maybe two summers ago and I'm not sure what influencer it was, but of course she had a huge following and she decided that she loved the LA Colors holographic lip gloss because it's $3. And I'm like, duh, I have been raving about this lip gloss probably since Pat McGrath launched her lip gloss. Like, I was like, this is a dupe. This is a dupe. Um, this shade, in fact, is my, it's called Heavenly. I think I have all the shades. There's like a hot pink. There's a very diamondy, uh, pale pearl and there's a gold these are so good these are so good so much pigmentation they last they're not sticky they're affordable they're very pleasant i and this one maybe it's not it's not showing up as much over this it's like the perfect gloss to this so good whenever so I find my LA colors makeup at Bartels which is a local retailer here they were purchased by Rite Aid um, so if you see LA colors a lot of times you'll see LA colors nail polish in Walmart and then they come out with the LA colors beauty sets at Christmas time and I've seen those at like Walgreens and Rite Aid but this is their regular like on the shelf all the time so if you see it I would check it out because oh man they might be on Amazon I'm gonna look if I see a link on Amazon you know that's not ridiculously expensive because Amazon is such an arbitrary price uh, system. Uh, yeah, I'll, oh, uh, but it's just, it's pretty. It's so pretty here. I've got so much on the back of my hand. Yeah, this is kind of a nude, this for the holograph, this is probably the most neutral toned down. The gold one and the pearl one are vibrant. So vibrant. Yeah. Don't let those young kids on TikTok tell you otherwise us moms hey kids on tiktok go ask your moms go ask your moms what they're using what they decide what was good for them when they were in their 20s and then see if there's it's still on the shelf and buy a new version because if she still has it from her 20s you do not want to use that but you know and see if if there's a new one on the shelf buy it and see see if it's still all that Buy one for her and go, hey, mom, I bought you one. I bought you a spare, a backup. <laughs> She'll buy you a pony. She'll be so excited. <gasps> okay, I hope this was fun for you. I love playing with makeup. It's not always drugstore. Sometimes it's high end. Sometimes it's um, high end, I find, at <laughs> like TJ Maxx. But whatever it is, I'm just out for fun. And if it's pretty and if I can afford it, then yay. Um, so, yeah. But if you want to click that subscribe button, I would love it. Thank you and take care. Uh, let me know in the comments mainstays of yours. These videos, I think, are always worth doing and I will continue to do so. And take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.